Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and today's event is on Hogwarts First Flying Lesson. So on the front of the box here, I have the LEGO logo, Harry Potter logo, Wizarding World logo, and that interesting border that is that we've been seeing for this current wave, obviously, and picture of the set that there is, and token hazard, all the minifigs included, and 20 years anniversary logo, of course. And recommended ages seven and up. Set number seven six three nine five has two hundred sixty four pieces. On the back, see back view of it and different arrangement of it. It's split apart and the features and also two collectible wizard cards, obviously. And now onto the instructor manual. Which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. Then all the pieces that come with the set. And then add of all the Wizarding World or Wizard cards that there is. And then build and swap with three the three other sets, which I also did reviews on. And but it's not advertising this one probably because this since this is one is a retail exclusive they they forgot to add that in also would have been nice to add it in anyways but whatever and then the last building steps so on to the meeting things. So for the figs, we have Draco Malfoy, which is has a kind of similar torso print to most other sets, but probably with a closed-in cloak, obviously. And but besides that, and of course holding a black broom and black wand, or dark brown wand, and of course face print, it's kind of, and hair piece, all similar to most other sets. And next to which is Neville Longbottom with. A, with the face print and hair piece also similar to other versions and torso print similar to Draco's but of course for Gryffindor or Slytherin and also holding a dark brown broom and also what we finally have a new version of is a new version of the rememberable ball which as you can see uh, let me focus which as you see does have some neat Swir odd swirls in the brass thing around and turn around and it's also in red and same things quite well fitting to how it did in the movie of course and as you can see the thing of which still using the uh, shortish legs it's well suiting to their young appearance in the Sorcerer's Stone obviously and lastly is our all new version of Madame Hooch, who we haven't seen since like the Bricktober pack in 2018. Uh, yes. Yeah. And of course, holding dark tan wand and dark and brown room, of course. But besides that, the front torso printing done pretty well, but lack of leg printing, but that's alright. And of course, hair piece quite gone, and also face print done well. And if you look from the back of which, you see some nice back torso prints for those two. And behind her cape, her cloak, obviously. Oh, just very slight back torso print. Oh, whoops. And they all each have double side faces. It's like Madame Hooch. Who does have her goggles, obviously. And of course, the other face prints of which do fit well to this whole sequence in the film. And quite innocent as far as the mini pig selection goes. Uh, quite good selection. And 
although I do think all those some others also could have been included in this one, but whatever. But also get is the 20th anniversary edition Golden Coral, of which uh, the torso print, face prints of which done great. And also nice to get some of these pieces in a pearl gold color, especially with the CMF display stand. And of course, and if look from the back, you see 20 years Harry Potter logo, of course, just like all these other anniversary figures. Hang on. Okay. And if I turn this around, and you see Voldemort's. Uh, face on it, and besides that, everything of which just about the same as the one that come came in the Great Hall set from from 2018, obviously. But besides that, all quite nice to he see here again. And also get, uh, and also the Wizarding World ca or Wizard cards that came with my copy of this set. Yours can kind of vary, of course. And this is which being two Salazar Slytherins, of course. But kind of interesting, but at least it's alright for that. They always come randomly in every set that does. Yeah. And now on to the main set itself. And with this, which is, is probably like the Quidditch uh, hallways and storage section of Hogwarts. So which, let's see, as for the interior space, kind of similar to some of these other recent sets. So in and also do you get these three translucent tra or clear stands, which to represent them flying on to it. And also, but also to note is, this is somewhat modular, also like some of those other sets, of course. So like for this, like, doorway section, which has the common lantern piece there, and also do you get a, like, get both regular bricks and tan, and also of or semi clayish orange bricks or brick bricks you can call it for the good stony texture and also some odd slopes there done pretty well and also the door that does open and close well and then look from the back of which do have a little balcony with another lantern piece of course and also this little uh, knock here for you to swish it up and down obviously But nothing much to it, but yeah. And as for this one of which, which does have, well, these two of the Nexo Knight shields, but also with symbols of each houses, and this of which being uh, Gryffindor and Slytherin. You can see has the classic castle uh, wall piece there. And it look in on the interior get a little barrel there and also those classic uh, cylinder pieces and those pieces that are kind of recent and all and also get the little crate piece which comes with some of your quidditch things like the little bat and also the golden snitch that is same since 2018 and also red sphere or technic sphere probably used as a quaffle and a pair of brownish studs, probably used as bludgers. And kind of hard to get this on, but there we go. And on to the other section, which 
which is sort of similar on the outsides, but at least with different Vaxonite shields. And of course, this representing Hufflepuff and Slither or Ravenclaw, of course. And if you look on the interior, which you get this neat little display case that is kind of similar to the one in one of the Hogwarts Moments book sets from earlier this year, of course. But instead, has a oh, holding a little display, a trophy there, and also something saying Gryffindor and says, of course, James Potter on. Huh? On there, of course, and also above is a nano fig, probably used as a trophy, and also cup used probably as a second place trophy, and also to get the top part of a paddle piece. Not sure what for, but whatever. And also the clear display thing, holding a little quaffle in it. Of course. And then also, just like in that other section, uh, it does stick on well. As for the rooftop pieces, see they're kind of the same builds to that. Like, but at least both of which do get these kind of newish corner pieces, pretty nice. And those, although one of them does hold this little statue here, which is not counted as a minifigure. But of course has that common back tie piece and of course holding a pair of classic castle swords of course and also both of which holding the clear uh classic space things but with the pairs of like tilted parts like in the cmap series i guess that there is probably to give the illusion of them flying of course and of course just like in the recent Chamber of Secrets sets. Or set, of course. Get that like so. And how you attach them onto it is for the very few studs and jumpers on there. Or do so like so. Kind of sideways, just like all these other ones, like the other recent ones. And of course, with all of them on, it does make a good display, of course, of like flying and whatnot. Overall, this I think a pretty good set of this way. Like, do you get all new version of the memorable bowl and also all new version of Madame Hooch, obviously, who we haven't seen in sets for or minifig form for quite a little while, obviously. And also, first time remake of this one ever since that. So, well, original version from like 2002, which is only just a little broom carriage and of course Harry and Draco but although would have been all right if Harry also would have been included in this one and since of course they also together in this scene obviously and yeah. but what we got here which done quite good and also the and of course another good addition to the new uh, Hogwarts connect range obviously and although as for being a Kohl's exclusive also could have worked out as like a Target or Walmart exclusive obviously but I think that's kind of just me or even a Barnes and Noble exclusive like the last year's Hedwig of course so, or maybe that's just me and although for the 
anniversary coral. Also good to have, obviously, of course, and yeah. And if you're so now if you are looking to get this set for your collection, definitely get it. And if you can find it, if it's available in your in a, at a Kohl's in your area, definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.